Hello, YouTube. My name is Trey. Welcome to What Kind of Change. Oh, man. I'm going to be talking about polyamory right quickly. But before we continue, don't forget to like and subscribe if you really care. And if you want to help donate to the production of the set that we got here, you can always donate down here. Uh, appreciate all you guys. Love you guys. All right. Moving on. So let's watch this quick little ticky talk. That's what the young people call it. Why? Why you always got to do that? I keep forgetting this music sometimes. So, spending time with your good friends or enjoy doing something else. So, pretty much at the beginning of this, as y'all saw, when you're struggling because your partner is on a date with someone else, here's the tip. Spend time with your good friends or enjoy doing something else you enjoy. Is that what that said? Or, oh, no, it didn't. Say, so doing something else you enjoy. Find a way to really feel their love for you. For example, imagine them there embracing you. Okay. Embrace the discomfort. Life is not about avoiding pain. It's choosing pain that's meaning for you. What? If your love is strong, it gets easier with time. No, it does not. Here's the thing, guys. It just said if you're struggling with your partner being on a date with somebody else, find something else to do. Break up. See, that's why when people talk about polyamory, I, I, and I've had these conversations, and I really try to hear them out, you know. But I truly believe that their polyamory is just never going to be the way to go because people are going to get jealous. It's just the way it goes. Um, especially women are not going to be able to do this. It, it's just going to turn sour really bad men are competitive so it's hard to see another man in a woman's life so it's really not gonna work and then women are gonna be more emotionally involved as well it's just never gonna work man you're supposed to be one person man and you know when i think about polyamory it's just the way to say you're not enough you know when somebody has to go get two or three partners right if i had my wife and then i had a mistress and i had another mistress and a couple more mistresses right but I'm calling it polyamory and I'm calling it all these relationships. My, the problem is I'm trying to create this perfection pie. I'm trying to create, have my cake and eat it too. Or if my wife can't do it, this one can do it. She's in better shape. And because she, I know she's in better shape, but this one's a better cook. And, uh, but this one is, we have way better conversations. It's just, I'm trying to get it all in one. And that's just never how it's going to work. Because every time I watch documentaries on that, and if y'all ever want to watch a documentary, y'all want me to react, we can react together on a live stream or something. Let me know. But when I've watched these documentaries and I'm, I've looked into them, it just, it all ends the same. What ends up happening is there'll be a couple, they'll get like an extra girlfriend or an extra boyfriend or something. And then it always ends up with the two, the two who started it all end up being together by themselves or breaking up because it doesn't work. I can't truly be committed to somebody and truly be sacrifices and if i always have somebody else on the side that i can get something else from that's the beauty of a relationship is that you can't have it all you I, you know it's just like me i'm short you know what i'm saying my wife can't have a tall guy and then also have me be a certain color and then also have me be a football player and then also have me be a millionaire but i also can't have a wife who i the perfect height i'm not going to be able to have a wife who's a perfect height perfectly athletic perfect body has the best conversations. That's just not going to work. That's not a relationship. Nobody is perfect for everybody. Now, if there's some, some relations and couples that get along great, but that my mother and my father who have been married for 35 years, they're not very much alike. They are very different. My mother is very talkative. My father is very quiet. My father will not talk unless he's spoken to, you know what I mean? But he, he's a, well, he used to be a big burly man, but he's gotten older now. So he's a little bit skinnier than he used to be, but he used to be a big guy, bitching 400 pounds. He's a big man. My mom, a little bit smaller, track star. They live completely different lives. My mom went to college. My father didn't. My father had worked every day of his life. My mom was running programs and stuff for the city. Completely different people. But they, once again, 35 years and they raised three of us, right? And so, and we all went to college and we all had successful lives. So, man, I'm just saying, man, this whole life of trying to get your cake, eat it too, and get it from somebody else and no sacrifices, that just bothers me. And I, it, it bothers me because it bothers me because I've done it. It bothers me because I used to live my life thinking that you don't have to sacrifice anything. 
if you just truly just live your life and manifest everything, it'll all happen. Just like the foolish stuff we hear about, you're going to be a millionaire if you just believe it. But you don't have to sacrifice. You don't have to work hard. You don't need to work 60 to 80 hours a week. You just work five hours a week and you, the money will come. It's just like we none of us want to make sacrifice. None of us want to discipline ourselves to do anything. We just want to live this life and expect it all to come to us. The same thing with polyamory. We don't want to sacrifice having a, a committed relationship with one person. We want to go out and be free and let the chains off. But we only realize that the more chains you think you're taking off, the more you're actually putting on until they choke you to death. Ah, oh, sacrifice people. Polyamory won't work, will never work. Just let it go. But let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below. I'm gone.